Play City family, what is up? It is Art and Bobby back in the kitchen for a very exciting Whole Foods haul. I literally just stepped in the front door maybe about 30 minutes ago with a great bag full of goodies. And I've been going to Whole Foods a lot during the quarantine because, hey, as much as I love Trader Joe's, I don't know about where you live, but every time I go by there, the line is literally wrapped around the building. I ain't got time for that. But the big Whole Foods on uh, Ashland and Belmont on the north side of Chicago is amazing. The line never gets too long. So if you live around here, I highly suggest going there. We have a bunch of new items, uh, some for the summer, some really cool uh, coffee creamers, pantry staples. I actually could have got double this stuff, but I figure we'll stop at this level. Could always make a part two of the best stuff to buy at Whole Foods right now. And I understand Whole Foods can be a little pricey, so not everyone has access to this, but I just want you to know what's out there. And if we go through something and there's an equivalent, say it like Costco or Aldi, I'll call that out too. Um, but I thought it'd be really fun to go over this. Also really fun, like, subscribe, share. It's a really good time, but the most important thing is a bell icon right below the video. That way when our content goes live every week, videos, live stream, cooking demos, you get a push on your device as soon as we go live. Where to start? It's like I'm a kid in a candy store right here, but I always listen to you guys. And one of the biggest uh, questions I get is about oat milk and coffee creamer. Well, this brand right here, Mulk, which Art loves, I'll go into that in a second, makes some of the best coffee creamers and uh, milks on the market. They have a great almond milk on the market, but they now have an oat milk. And I'm gonna show you the ingredients and then tell you why this is literally a game changer. So we look at oat milk. I see organic on the front and my friends, that's really, really important. We've talked about this so many times. Uh, I'll go into why that's important, but see what it says right there? It says oil free. What does that mean? Why would oil be in any kind of milk that's made of oats or almonds or hemp seeds? Well, here's what they mean. Look at these ingredients. Okay, water, organic, gluten-free oats. I thought all oats are gluten-free. They are gluten-free, but unless they're made in a dedicated facility, they can't be labeled gluten-free because that facility can also make flour, which can be airborne and land on the oats. Sweetened with uh, oh, no sweetener, I'm sorry. Uh, Himalayan pink salt as the uh, salt, one of the best unrefined salts from the Pakistani Himalayan mountain region. Uh, it is high in carbs. Why? Because it's made from oats. But you probably might notice that it's a little higher in carbs than normal. Uh, and we see five grams of total sugar. There's no added sugar. Sometimes it's very misleading when they put added, but that's just the total natural sugar. Let's say five grams added. Um, yeah, so this is why it's so confusing. There's five grams of added, but it's not added. It's actually the five grams of the natural sweetness in the, uh, in the actual uh, oats. So why is this the most exciting oat milk on the market? Because number one, if your oat milk is not organic, which many of them are not on the market, it could be very high in glyphosate. Glyphosate is the active ingredient in Roundup that Monsanto sprays on oats at the end of the growing process as a desiccant, a drying agent to dry them out so you can harvest it quicker. This is organic, many are not. But oats don't have a lot of fat, unlike almonds do. So a lot of oat milks will have a ton more emulsifiers, gums, and oils in there. This says oil-free because they're actually putting way more oats per cup than anyone else on the market. The typical almond milk has about seven to eight almonds per cup. The, the rest is water and emulsifiers. That can be very disruptive to your tummy, especially if you have a sensitive uh, gut. So I love that for that reason. And the Himalayan pink salt is amazing. I have to try that because it's so, so high end. And since we're doing high end, I have to use my, my brandy glass here. And then Art has to try it too. This is something I wouldn't like put into smoothies. It's something I would use for my cereal perhaps. Wow, that's really, really good. It tastes nothing like say an Oatly, which to me tastes like water and gums and emulsifiers. That's really good. Art has to try this right now. I'm gonna get a glass for him. Mm, that's pretty good. And for all you Simpsons fans out there, Ah, my bones are so brittle, but I always drink plenty of milk. <laughs> uh, and then sticking in the milk theme, what's the best coffee creamer? One of the best coffee creamers at the store. Malk makes it too, because once again, um, it's organic, but look at the flavor combination here, you guys. Check this out. It's organic oats. It's organic pecans, real pecans, not natural flavors coconut sugar, a paleo sweetener, 
organic maple syrup, not maple flavor, and Himalayan pink salt. Now we're talking two grams of added sugar here for one tablespoon serving. That's not bad at all. I do have to try this too. Oh, by the way, Laird. I heard Laird is coming out with a, uh, a liquid coffee creamer pretty soon at Whole Foods, so I'm looking forward to that. Mm. It said shake well, and I didn't shake well. Hold on. It seemed a little clear for me. There we go. Ooh. Wow, look at that. Cheers. Oh my God, that is dynamite. It's like a milkshake. Mm. So both of these are fantastic. And I love them because they don't put the emulsifiers or any of that garbage in there. Uh, if you want one of the best dairy creamers at the market, this one's fantastic. It's an Austin-based company called Picnic. Why is it great? Because number one, look at the ingredients here. It's grass-fed butter and grass-fed whey. It's keto-friendly with MCTs, medium-chain triglycerides. Then you do have a few gums in there. Very, very normal to emulsify it. But look at these macros. That is so cool. Any other dairy-based one at the store is going to be loaded with palm uh, oil, sugar, high fructose corn syrup. This is one of the best ones there. So I know it's a premium price at uh, Whole Foods, but it's worth it. Don't use this as a smoothie kind of oat milk. Use it for like cereal or uh, granola bowls, drinking, because it's so darn premium. Let's mix it up now. You want a healthy cookie. There aren't too many options at the grocery store, but a Chicago-based company called Simple Mills makes one of the better pre-made cookies, and this one's actually paleo. Before I show you the ingredients, maybe they're watching our videos because I've talked about this a million times. Many of their ingredients on their uh, pre-packaged uh, cookies use palm oil, and it's one of the cruddiest oils around, even if it's responsibly sourced, like I'll show you in a minute. They've changed their label. So look at this. This is their almond flour paleo cookies here. Hello, hello, governor. Look at this. Instead of palm oil, they now have coconut oil. How great is that? What's the flour? It's almonds, coconut, and flaxseed. We love that combination. Tapioca starch is the paleo binder. Chocolate chips have a touch. You know what? Chocolate chips have a touch of cane sugar, so they're technically not paleo. Uh, but that's the only reason why. But then look at this. Are you kidding me? Great, great ingredients. Not low carb because of the tapioca, but completely gluten-free and almost paleo. That is what you want to see. Now, there are still a couple ones on the shelves that do have the, uh, the palm oil. So they haven't done it on their whole family of products yet, but it's a great improvement. So great that I have to try this. Look at this. All right, grab one of those. This with some milk? Oh, now you're talking, dude. Now you're talking. Mm. Creamer. Mmm. Mmm. Do that. Oh my God, that's good. The chaim. Hot darn. Mmm, that's good. First of all, the cookies are dino. It actually tastes like, kind of like I think a chips ahoy. Chips ahoy. See, Art says chips ahoy, but. And if Art says it. <laughs> chips ahoy. This would be really good with like a shot of bourbon in there. Wow. I don't know if I have that. <laughs> it's 12 It's Friday. Chips Ahoy made with what? Bleach, flour, palm oil, fr high fructose corn syrup. You guys, one of the best cookies I've seen. If you wanted to go to Trader Joe's and buy the almond flour mix and make your own, that would be equivalent in terms of ingredients. This is honestly one of the better cookies I've had at the grocery store in a long time. That is super impressive. Good for you guys, Simple Mills. They're a Chicago-based company. I can promise you in the next one to two years, they will get bought out by a craft for like $200 million. Mark my words. I guarantee it. Uh, cookies. But you're like, yo, Bobby, I need a keto cookie. That might be paleo-ish. I need keto cookie. There's good news and bad news. There are more options coming to the grocery store, not just online. There's fat snacks. Also, Lenny and Larry's makes a uh, keto cookie. The problem is, here's the front of it. The ingredients are not the best. This is Z two net carbs per cookie, which is amazing. How are they doing that? Let's punch in here. Okay, so they're using almond flour, same as Simple Mills, but they're not using any tapioca starch. They're using chocolate chips. Instead of having cane sugar, they're with erythritol. I'm not sure it's non-GMO erythritol, but it's not really... Um, it's not really a, a game changer. Stevia too. A stevia too, thank you, Art. Coconut flour. This is strike one, palm fruit oil. 
Anytime you see palm fruit oil, it's a highly processed, very bad for the environment product. Doesn't matter even if it's responsibly sourced, it's slightly better for the environment, but it's still really bad for you. It's pretty much like canola oil. It's very processed. The other ingredient I see is natural vanilla flavor. That being said, look at the macros. I mean, are you kidding me? There's zero grams of added sugar in here. So I'd rather you have this than a Chips Ahoy if you're keto, because we oftentimes talk about picking the lesser of two evils. Would you rather have a cookie that has 12 grams of cane sugar? Or <laughs> hard raised his hand. Or would you rather have this that has no sugar, but it does use palm oil and natural flavor? I'm saying pick the lesser of two evils. This is the lesser. So many people ask me about this. I gotta try it. Oh, what a, what a sad looking cookie. Oh, co compare this cookie, you guys. Hold on, compare that. It's not even like a proper cookie shape. Oh, man. Compare that to, oh, yeah, that. Oh, yeah, now you're talking. Here, all right, let's try this together and compare. Ooh, the texture is different. That's not a cookie. I'm sorry. No. The flavor is not bad. It's almost like a cake-ish kind of cookie thing. Cakey cookie. Yeah. It's like a New York black and white-ish thing. Not bad. It's not bad. I wouldn't call it... It's not worthy of chasing it with milk, put it that way. And that's my indicator these days. It's not bad, but I don't love it. If you want another keto treat, and it's not a cookie, but it's more like a, a fudge, Boo, Boo Keto. My friend Thomas DeLauer loves these, and the ingredients you can't argue with. Now, want to see something really interesting? First of all, you won't find one cruddy ingredient on here. The interesting thing for me is you keep reading here, they have palm oil. Wait, Bobby, you said palm oil is bad no matter what. Yes, except if it's red. Red palm oil is super high quality. It's basically the virgin coconut oil version of palm oil. It is so good for you. And look at these other ingredients. Are you kidding me? Roasted cashews, monk fruit as a sweetener, prebiotic fiber, uh, nuts, pea protein. Now the other flavors do have natural flavors, which I don't like, but this white chocolate one, wow. It is pricey, but actually, it was cheaper than the other ones at Whole Foods. It was about six bucks, and the chocolate ones, which had the natural flavors, were, uh, oh, they're individually wrapped, were $9. So I understand you're paying a premium for this, but you guys, this kind of stuff, like, didn't exist five or ten years ago. I don't know about you, but I get giddy like a schoolboy when I go into the store these days, because every time I see something new, <laughs> it's so funny, it reminds me, of the Shell Crow song, Every Day is a Winding Road, which they were playing today at Whole Foods. They've had that soundtrack on like all week. It's exciting to go into the store and see this stuff. Mmm. That's delicious. It's like white chocolate fudge. Mmm. That's great. All right, you gotta try that later, man. Oh, I want it now. Look at him crack it. That's like crack. You want a shot of a. It's my boo keto and I want it now. <laughs> there you go. It's delicious, you guys. Wow. For keto, mm, fantastic. Mmm. What do you think, Art? It's pretty good. It's very nice with top notch ingredients. Okay. Let's go back to something that's very exciting and brand new dairy free plant based sour cream. Now, if you guys know me and know the channel very well, we eat very little dairy here. Forager is one of the best plant-based yogurts on the market, but now, uh, it's going back for another, oh, I just put the whole thing in his mouth. He likes it more than you think, y'all. They make organic, dairy-free sour cream. And the reason why I like it, Bobby likes it, he likes it a lot, is because look at these ingredients. It's coconut and cashew, coconut cream to make it super creamy. And then, yes, it needs a little bit of gums to bring it together in terms of uh, locust bean gum, tapioca starch, but it's got the live and active cultures in there. Uh, you know, keto friendly, two grams of uh, net and total carbs per two tablespoon, but clean as a whistle. This is the kind of stuff you want to see. Kite Hill does make their own version of this now, but unfortunately it has maltodextrin. But if you're on Team Dairy and you're at Whole Foods, they really have amazing sour cream and cottage cheese selections at Whole Foods. Just get this one. Kelowna Supernatural is organic. It's fantastic. 
but even Organic Valley makes one. I believe they have one from um, Nancy's Prebiot, uh, Nancy's Prebiotic, I think it's called. They have that too, or Probiotic. Um, so great options there. You want to see something so cool. You know I love my coconut milk, and I love my Thrive Market brand and my uh, Trader Joe's brand because I add no guar gum. Well, Native Forest, I'm a new fan of that. It's a little more expensive, but they have no guar gum, and the texture is amazing. The crazy thing is, look at this product. It's coconut milk curry. You basically don't have to make the curry sauce because you're ready to have your socks knocked off. It's coconut milk mixed with coriander, cumin, turmeric, turmeric, fenugreek, onion, garlic, cardamom, curry leaves. What? How crazy is that? That is insane in the membrane. This is so cool because if you need a simple and easy hack to make like a coconut curry shrimp with cauliflower rice, this is your sauce. Maybe just reduce it a little bit and then sauce your shrimp. Put your cauliflower rice, like in the keto cookbook. We have a very simple version of that. You can make it even easier with this. And actually the cookbook we're working on right now, which if you follow me um, on Instagram, you would see the stories is five ingredient semi-homemade meals. We're using three or four fresh ingredients with one or two best in class Bobby approved products from the store. So something like this could help you make a really easy five ingredient recipe with really good ingredients. That book will drop on December 1st, mark your calendar. It's gonna be awesome. We're having so much fun making it right now. But that is so darn cool. If you wanna splurge a little bit, the regular coconut milk, which I have around the corner of this company is fantastic because it has no guar gum, but it's so creamy and so naturally emulsified, it's lovely. Exciting. I, I'm excited. I hope you can feel the passion here. This is, this is fun for me. This is, this is my kid in candy store moment, right? Siete, probably one of the best Bobby approved brands on the market now makes enchilada sauce and they make taco seasoning mix. You guys, my socks were blown off when I saw this. Normally enchilada sauces will have sugar, soybean oil based, really bad ingredients. Look at these ingredients here. This is crazy. So it's tomato based because it's red. They also have green. It's avocado oil based. To thicken it, they're putting flaxseed and chia seeds, porcini mushroom powder, cumin, uh, chili powder, unbelievable. In the cookbook coming up uh, for the five ingredient, we have a five ingredient red chicken enchilada recipe. That's amazing. And then normally taco seasoning mixes are loaded with sometimes cornmeal as a filler, sugar, or maltodextrin. This, my friends, is all thriller, no filler. Are you kidding me? Chili powder, date sugar for a touch of sweetness, tomato powder, onion powder, Wow, wow, wee wow. How darn cool is that? Uh, keto friendly too. This is the kind of stuff you want to see. You're going to make a little Taco Tuesday, some tacos de camarone con este condimento, uh, este condimento, todo está bien. This is some of the best stuff around. Totally Bobby approved. Um, pasta. Let's go into pasta and grains. For the most part, we're a keto paleo a household. But listen, we're human. We like pasta once in a while. You guys know I love red lentil pasta and I love organic red lentil pasta. We have a whole video about that saying that bean pastas are great because they're a complex carbohydrate, but you really want to get organic red lentil pasta. I find red lentil has the best texture and flavor compared to traditional wheat pasta. Organic though is important because conventional lentils score high in glyphosate, just like the um, oats. So if you get conventional, it's going to score high in the glyphosates. Uh, organic does not. Tolerant makes a great pasta, but the only red lentil pasta in the shape of spaghetti I know is made from Whole Foods. If you know another company that makes organic red lentil spaghetti, let me know. And then check out the one ingredient here by my thumb. There's no filler. There's no uh, emulsifiers. There's no xanthan gum. It's just red lentils. That's it. I swear, cook this like you would pasta. It's al dente, it's toothsome, it's so darn tasty. Now, I just saw this also, the same company who makes the organic uh, red lentil pasta now makes riced lentil flavorings like paella, or if you're British, paella. They also make other flavors that are great. The only problem is we look at the ingredients and every single one of these I saw at Whole Foods had natural flavors. 
it's a bummer because we have a whole video about natural flavors, search Flavor City Natural Flavors. It's really a guise, you guys. It's not really natural. It's pretty synthetic, but the rest of the ingredients are pretty clean. So if you compare this to like a, a rice dish, I'd still rather you have this, but this is nice. What's better is go to Trader Joe's and wait into that big old line and I would get this. You've seen me talk about this before. The Trader Joe's risotto, it's not seasoned. All it is is two ingredients. It's just the chickpea and red lentil in the shape of rice. I would make this into risotto. And actually in the cookbook coming out on 12.1, it's a five ingredient uh, risotto using this, a little bit of uh, mirepoix, some uh, ghee and extra virgin olive oil. So creamy, so delicious, and it doesn't have the natural flavor. But in a pinch, this is not bad compared to the other options at the store. A lot of people ask me about right rice. I wouldn't get that because in addition to the natural flavors, they use sunflower oil and it's not expeller pressed and sunflower oil, just in my opinion, is a garbage oil when you could easily be using an avocado oil, which is much more premium. And I get a big pet peeve when brands charge me premium prices and don't use premium ingredients. That really peeves me off. Um, talking about premium, we know we love our boys over at Primal Kitchen. They have a couple new sauces for the summer. Summer, summertime. Summertime and barbecue sauce are BFFs. I wasn't the biggest fan of their old barbecue sauces, but the new mango jalapeno barbecue sauce, and there's another one, I can't remember the flavor right now, is amazing. There's no sugar added. They use mango puree, coconut aminos. It does have natural smoke flavor, but I'm pretty sure that's actually the liquid smoke, which is distilled from the burning of the wood. Either way, this is about as clean as they get. Me and Desi are in love with this tartar sauce. We use this tartar sauce all the time. I've looked at many tartar sauces at the grocery store. They always have cruddy ingredients. Look at these ingredients. Totally crazy. Avocado oil based, dairy free, lemon juice, mustard, everything's organic. Really, really, really impressive. And the flavor of this is great. Um, this is another ingredient <laughs> in the five ingredient cookbook that I say you wanna use this for our five ingredient wild salmon cakes. Because with five ingredients, you can't make a sauce all the time. Get a store-bought one, and I'll give you other recommendations of other ones and what to look out for in the grocery store too. It's gonna to be a ton of knowledge in that book. Not a lot of people know about Coconut Secret. It's a brand who makes fantastic coconut aminos. And while I feel like coconut aminos on their own don't offer enough flavor or like that fermented funk you get from tamari, this one is fantastic. It's actually a teriyaki coconut aminos with crazy ingredients. So check this out. Look at that. It's coconut sap, which is fantastic, but the flavor they get, you guys, from the ginger and the garlic is so darn tasty. I would marinate chicken in this. I would use this as a stir fry sauce. It's a fantastic condiment. Like it's almost like a multi-purpose condiment. Really, really good stuff. Um, well, this video is going long, and some of the stuff we're gonna talk about in other videos, like we're gonna do a summer drink haul very soon. Harmless Harvest has new flavored coconut waters with best in class ingredients, no natural flavors, organic watermelon juice, organic rose petals. Really, really cool stuff. Um, if you're looking for the best jam and jelly, watch our jam and jelly review when this video is done. But Crofters over at Whole Foods, get the one that's just the fruit spread, meaning there's no added sugar. It's just fruit juice concentrate. This one's amazing. And a lot of people ask me about the best Bobby proof gums and stuff. This is probably one of the better ones. It's spree, or is it pronounced spry? spry? Spry. And the reason why, there's no sugar. And even though it has natural flavors, I can't find one that doesn't have it. There's no fake sugar like aspartame or sucralose. So this is probably what I'd go for because the other good one at uh, Whole Foods, which is made by Simply, it uses cane sugar. I don't want that. I'd rather have xylitol for gum or toothpaste, but not xylitol for consumption because it's not the best for your tummy. Uh, so that's it, you guys. There's still some other stuff and a ton more at the store, but wow, what a haul. I get excited when I see this kind of stuff because it's so next level. It did not exist five, 10 years ago, and I think it's an exciting time to be alive. A lot of it, unfortunately, is a little more premium, but hey, you can get really good uh, plant-based milk now everywhere. You can get grass-fed uh, milk at Aldi and stuff like that. Um, some Costco's are starting to carry this too, which is really exciting. 
So that's it, you guys. Like, subscribe, share. The only way this channel keeps growing the way it has is by you spreading that big old love around the, the world. Art and I have two more videos going below us right now. But we will see you very soon. Until then, hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace and malk shots for everyone. It's the weekend, baby. Cheers. Woo. Actually, hold on. Let's try that. Let's get that bourbon like I was talking about. Let's get that. It's from a local Illinois company called Whiskey Acres in DeKalb. Put a little shot of that bourbon in there. Bourbon and milk. Cheers. Woo, that's good.